Welcome back to the quarterfinals. This is the last quarterfinal of the Hurley Pro, and then we'll have the semifinals all squared away. Alex Ribeiro turning in his personal best result in his career here at the Hurley Pro, making the quarters to take on one of the legends of the sport, Joel Parkinson, 2012 world champ, 2004 lowers champion. I don't know, I'm just feeling like really good energy off the beach or something in the water. I don't know. I, I, in that heat, well, that was crazy. That was so slow. And I really felt like I, I lucked in on that 8 9 because I had ridden the wave before the heat. And that was, I didn't know that it was like that. Yeah, it's like my first heat I've ever surfed or something. So, oh man, I was stoked. And Tanner, we think about it, you are a former World Tour competitor, obviously fell victim to that half year cut. But now, just getting some experience at this level, you must just be absolutely licking your chops to go into the QS 10,000s and get some points and, and really make it onto this big stage. Yeah, uh, that is definitely the goal. Um, for this week, though, I just keep feeling like this is every heat that I surf is just my only opportunity that I get. And it'll be back to the every morning this week and just totally felt like I'm backing myself to win the event. And working hard, I feel like I've had one of the harder paths to get to where I'm at just by virtue of my draw and crazy heats and a dad and a coach that does I mean it, it, it still whether he knows it or not it does help well, look at this wave though tell you what beautiful snaps two in a row nice mix and then bang for a finish what a start for Alex Hibero this is a great looking wave, good choice. You know he was looking right for a second. He said, no, I want this left really badly. And it turned out to be a great wave. Already up again is Alex Ribeiro. Climbing through that first section, wrapping cut back. He runs out of room and hops out. But the first wave, a 7.5 on the left. And you think about the numbers we've had on the left, that's a pretty solid score. And he definitely deserved it for his commitment driving through the lip on every turn. Well, it was a nice three-turn combo, you know, and I could have felt like it maybe even could have gone a little bit more, but just watch this left here, straight into the foam. This was not nearly as high a quality wave, but he maneuvers through it, gets himself a med mediocre score. I'm sure that won't count in his top two at the end of this, but staying loose, keeping that rhythm going, again, without priority, so he's why, why not try? Maybe you get yourself a little ramp, creating a much more user-friendly sport for everyone to enjoy. Alex Ribeiro loves the lowers left. Already has a 7-5 on it in this matchup against Parkinson. This one's a little messy, but he finds a way just to keep his rhythm going. Parko's going to check out a right now. It's a little sticky on the takeoff. He's going to wait for better waves. 18.30 to go. We've seen that smooth, groovy style of Joel, but he's still waiting for a score of consequence. How was the wave quality on this attempt yeah, too? Yeah, you called it. It was a bit chunky. Generally those lefts, when they move out into that rip, kind of a little bit further onto the shoulder there, which that wave did. Now watching Parkinson already off the top. This one's sort of doubling up and bowling now. He'll jam it off the lip. Clean connection through the whitewater, sets up the finish. Finn's free. Will he get credit for it? He pulls that thing off for an exciting finishing move. Nice. That was not an easy way to surf. You see, he was weaving, 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 and he was waiting for that wave to double up, which it did. Got the finish, too, which is a bit of an exciting finish. Right there in front of the uh, competitor's tower. Although he's probably kicking himself a little bit right now because here's a nice size set here. Although Alex is not far enough on the outside. But Joel did well there. I mean, it's not like this one's out of reach. I mean, Alex did have that nice start, the 7-5, but he really hasn't backed it up yet. Now checking out the replay on the right for uh, Joel Parkinson, his best wave so far in this heat. Nice connection with that first section, but this is where he was waiting for it to double up, so he finds the steepest part. Does that nice carve, throwing some water out the back. And then that's the finish. With not a ton of speed, he was able to connect, punch the fins through the top of the lift there, and then weight everything back forward to that front foot so he can get that, because he's a big dude. Worked out my boards and stuff like that, so I feel like I can definitely do more work on that sort of stuff, but I feel like I picked it up pretty quick. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying to get back on tour and getting another run at those locations. 
and really figured out what uh, pro surfing was all about. Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew won a world title. He's up there on the beach announcing as well. During the break, Pete, Ribeiro went right. He did, and he capitalized too, because this is a smaller inside way, but four nice turns going vertical, just a mistake right there. And then behind, Joel, a little smoother wave. Contrasting styles, big float. And look how much speed he carries around that section and attacks the lip. So it looks like, to me, Parko's going to get the better of that exchange. He's got so many things to think about that make him such a legend of the sport. And I think one of my all-time favorites is how dangerous Parko always was during the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. Well, in Hawaii specifically, I mean, you think about the style that he carries at places like Sunset and Haleiwa. But also all that experience and skill at Pipeline, backdoor. I mean, if you look at all of those venues, those are all spots that you would think he could win. He has won. So uh, he has been a Pipe Master, right? Has been a World Cup champion. You know, and, and again, right now, that last exchange didn't change anything. Now making a move is Joel Parkinson deep on this one. Romero letting him go, and he's just going to be a little too deep. So last of Alex, 4.9. Parker's requirement moves up to a 6.41. Still not a whole lot as we hit the eight-minute mark. No, it's not. But in the scheme of things right now, he's been in the lead throughout this matchup. Started with that 7.5, and he's been trying to hang on to it ever since. But Parker's trying to chip away. The wall standing up in front of this one for Joel Parkinson as he snuck this wave off of Ribeiro. Another beautiful time snap with the blow tail. So a series of solid moves. Rips one off the lip. Big wind up. Skips a section with that blow tail and hammers it shut on the inside. Love that one. He'll just lay back in the whitewater and enjoy the ride. Parko needs a 6-4-1. Ribeiro did take off out the back, but his ride ended up stopping short. Yeah, that was a big exchange, and the reason being is that it looked like Alex was going to be able to capitalize on the a little bit bigger wave on that cleaner face, being there was wave number two, and it turned out that he was too deep. So Parko needing a 6.41, I feel like this is going to be his best wave. Let's take a look at it. This was first the wave that Alex was on outside, and he can't get around the corner, and that's not going to go into his top two. But this one, a little cat and mouse from Joel. Again, not the most cleanest wave to ride, but he does find some lip. And he's able to connect with it. Nice deep bottom turns. Getting release out of the lip off the top. And more through the inside. So you would say to me that this is going to be his best wave so far. So he's liking this exchange, the way it unfolded. Generally, you take that first wave, sometimes that's... And that last wave gave you a pretty good feeling, Pete. Alex sitting out the back with priority. His last wave was too deep. Didn't change anything. But one score just changed the lead. Parco, 8-2-7. Ribeiro now needs a 6.78 to answer back. Well, he might get the opportunity here. Three and a half to go. There is a few waves making its way into the lineup. See if that's going to fall into his lap or not. Having a look now, Alex Ribeiro knifes the first section and steps off. So now he's trying to scramble to find something to save himself in this seat. Just needs a 6.78. He opened up with a 7.5. It's been an interesting choice for Joel here, being that he has priority and the lead. Does he risk trying to better his 6.0? With this set out the back, it'd be really tough to let this one go. But I mean, if you were competing, you would say, I'm going to hold priority and I'm not going to go. But look at, see if he's looking at it. He's going. Joel decides to make a move. Alex is going to watch him do his first turn. He'll oh. climb it and kick oh. out. Ribeiro is going to spin around and he's unable to catch that wave. There's another one setting up deeper here on the cobblestone rocks. Joel's got so much experience that he saw that going down. He knew that that wasn't going to be the way. Kicks out beforehand. Gets back into priority position. So much experience. Really impressive to see Joel fight back to take the lead with an 8-2-7. Now he will take this wave. And he does have a big wall to work with. 
wrapped a tail slide. Just classic Joel Parkinson form. He's going to get down the line, and this wave's just going to shut down quickly, but three solid moves. That leaves the rookie out the back. Super late takeoff for Barrow. Still needs something solid here to come back. A little bit of busy work in the pocket, then frames it vert, but loses control. Romero does have a pretty good jump start on the priority battle, but will he get another opportunity with 90 seconds to go? That's the question. You know, I, I like his choice to get back out and retain priority, but you can see a little bit of anxiousness from Alex Ribeiro on that wave that he rode. But let's take a look at Joel here, that clean, silky carve to start this wave out. Again, projecting down the line. That wave shuts down, so he gets one final move, trying to improve on a 6.0. I feel like he's right there in that realm. So we see now 55 seconds remaining. Joel Parkinson turned in a semi-final performance earlier this season in West Australia, losing to eventual runner-up Julian Wilson. So a couple of key results here and there for Parko to be making a strong push to move into the top 10 picture, as this is one of our favorite scenes on the local Groms in San Clemente. They time this clock so they can jump out in the free surf and get a couple of waves before Pete Mel shows up. That's right, Grummet. <laughs> Be aware. 15 seconds on the clock. Ribeiro is out the lineup all alone, hoping for a chance to get a 7.28. The rookie turning in an amazing performance, finding some confidence at this venue here at Lower Trestles, which is really the first place that created the Brazilian storm. The rookie was celebrating that big performance, and Joel Parkinson, a former event champ, Moves on into the semifinals to take on Tanner Godowskis on finals day, Pete. 